Hey guys, welcome back to Matt Keeps Fish, where I've not eaten breakfast today, but you know what's more important than eating breakfast? Putting the Phantom Tetras in the 40 gallon. Let's do it. All right, so great thing about schooling fish is when you're trying to net them, usually they all go into the net together. So we actually got all six at the same time. I was gonna have to put them into a bucket and then put them all in for you guys at the same time because I know that looks better, but logistically it's a little difficult. <laughs> Also, I'm covered in duckweed, like really bad. And uh, now it's, remember when I told you guys that it was gonna be in the 40 gallon? It's in the 40 gallon. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the phantoms in the 40 gallon and then we're gonna fast forward to kind of see what happens with them. So, yeah. another video where the timeline is all messed up and no I didn't get a haircut your depth perception is just way off in this video we are talking about the black phantom tetras pretty awesome fish don't have much time for them unfortunately they are literally the coolest tetra I've ever had but things are moving really fast right now I'm getting a lot of fish next video is gonna be really weird I admit like it I just filmed it today which you know I'm already in a weird mood so obviously the next video is gonna be weird so I hope you guys are looking forward to that, <laughs> to disliking that video. And the video after that, I'm gonna hang out with Zach and we're gonna go to a bunch of different aquariums. But for now, we're just gonna talk a little bit, a little, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the black phantom tetras. Literally the coolest tetra I've ever had. Can you hear my little brother in the background? Yes or no? So the black phantom tetras, I compare a lot to angelfish. They have, they have very tall fins. They're very guarded. They school a little bit. They'd like to stay within the same vicinity as each other, but there's a hierarchy between them. There's a dominant male. At one point it was a dominant female. It shifted around, so now it's a dominant male. And man, does that dominant male have some good color on him. I thought that would be easier to take shots of, but turns out they're still very active. And because they're so small, it's hard for my camera to focus on them. So I hope I have some good shots here for you guys, but what I love about the males especially is they have that dark color. They blend into the background a little bit, which is still kind of cool because when they come over, when they when they swim over the plants, they they really pop out out of nowhere, and then they also have that kind of glowing um, bluish eye, which matches the rainbow fish really well. Uh, the males are also bigger, so it, they're easier to identify, kind of create some diversity within the same species. And speaking of diversity, the females have a color that's not at all on the male, and that's their bright red ventral fins. I have four females, two males, which is a great combo. Six is my minimum for any kind of schooling fish. Technically, this isn't a schooling fish. You're not really gonna get that schooling effect with them. I would much rather go with neon tetras or really any sort of neon tetra, glow light, black neon, uh, cardinal even would work. These guys, not schooling. Very much like angelfish. Again, they wanna be in the same vicinity, but there's a hierarchy. They're each gonna have their mini territories, kind of like that six foot distancing that we're seeing a lot of these days. Human hierarchy confirmed. And these are kind of gonna be the off centerpiece fish. So they're close to the centerpiece. They're, they're not as far back as the schooling fish, which is just gonna kind of make up another part of the background. 
These guys you're going to want to focus in on because they have some very cool behaviors and are very distinct. I was thinking of getting some candy cane tetras with them or some serpes, but I think that would take away from the uniqueness of the black phantom tetras. So when we do go shopping, we're going to look for something very unique to add to this aquarium. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that, because I am. And so, although this seems like it was a short video, that was the Black Phantom Tetras. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe if you want to see more like this, and worse, and sometimes better. And I will see you next Sunday.